check out Imperium Duelist using the link below. It helps support a small channel like myself when you buy a playmat, sleeves, dice, deck boxes, whatever on the site. I get a small portion back and it helps support the small channel. Thank you guys for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next one. What is up everybody? We are here with a test hand video for a deck that I posted earlier last week. Uh, Fiendsmith Lightsworn. Um, so yeah, this is 60 cards. Figured I'd do some test hands, show that this deck isn't um, isn't really linear at all. So give it a good shuffle here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, from this point, we have a couple options. Uh, we're going to assume our opponent didn't open any hand traps, obviously, because it's a test hand video. Uh, activate Fiendsmith Tracks. Going to add. Uh, where is it? The Fabled Lori. Pitch the Lori. Use her effect. Its effect, whatever. To summon. Link one into Requiem. Requiem effect to summon out Engraver. Uh, Requiem effect equipped to Engraver. Fuse away those two into Necro Princess. Use Engraver's effect to summon itself. It doesn't particularly matter which one you send back. Um, so 50-50 probably set back the Requiem, I guess. Actually, it'd be better to set back the Lori to shuffle it away the deck. To summon. From this point, um, we have two options, both one of which is to make Pilgrim Reaper, the other is to make the DDD. And so with that, we would make the DDD first to be safe. So this prevents us from being Nibiru'd. Alright, so now we have the DDD, which means we can't be Nibiru'd. So from here, we could activate Lubellion. Search a bestial, probably odds are we're gonna get the Magna, Magna Hut. Then to use our normal summon, summon out again, use this effect to give my opponent Ken. Where is it? And what's Ken gonna do is gonna activate its effect, mandatory, to make me draw two and discard one card. Now, depending on what we draw, if we draw a thrust or, ta or a talents, it's live because our opponent's monster time when he used an effect. Um, so let's see what happens. So draw two, one, two. So this is actually kind of awkward, but we're going to send the other gen to the graveyard. Use Magna Hut to banish our gen. A fact you get, and then face our our dragon. Sorry, uh, tribute magna hut for rebellion. Rebellion effect. Put regained on field. Okay, so from here, we could activate the Ball Drake, banish Magna Hut, or the Rock Room, doesn't particularly matter which one, uh, but banish Magna Hut to summon Ball Drake, trigger again, put Magna Hut in the bottom of the deck to draw a card, which didn't get us anywhere particularly exciting. Um, so this field isn't going to be as good, but... Hey, it is what it is. Uh, link 
two into a simple IP. Activate corridor, put Gen back, summon the corridor, and make Colossus. Set black coat. So from here we have two interrupt two negates, uh, an SP interruption, and my opponent can't search their deck. Plus at end phase, we search for another bestial. So for sake of clarity, not clarity, for the sake of ending this out, we have one, two, three, four interruptions, regain to put something back, and Baldrake, um, Abyssal to summon. That was test hand number one. Let's shuffle it up for test hand number two. And obviously, if your opponent shifters you, it's not going to be good. One, two, three, four, five. So obviously to start we're gonna actually charge a light brigade. One, two, three. Nothing super exciting off that one. So we're gonna search a light sworn. Best bet would probably be the dragonling. Uh, activate King Sark, use King Sark, send the malicious. To send M. Seti. Uh, again, to send Happy. Uh, Dragon Lane to add Judgment Dragon to replenish our hand a bit. Okay, from this point, summon Happy, summon Emsetti, overlay into Vampire, the Zombie Vampire, detach mill five, sorry, mill four from each deck, pick a monster and summon it. So at this point, we can go Baldrake or Dragonling, we already used Dragonling's effect. Uh, if we summon Dragonling, it's going to net us a card. So for what we can do here, it is probably best if we I think we're gonna summon the Baldrake. Some of the Baldrake, activate malicious effect. Summon another malicious from deck. Overlay these two into We can't make the DDD. So we make Pilgrim Reaper. Use Pilgrim Reaper, each player mills five cards. And all we can do is summon out Archer. At this point, we can go into a Link 2. Make... If we make close, we go into Requiem, Requiem summon out. Engraver, we can't we can make the DD that way at this point. I think that's where we st 
stop. There's nothing too exciting at that point. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we can normal summon again, give him the can, and start plays that way, or we can start with the charge. Those are our two best options. I would say let's start with the again and give him the can, and we can turn off their. Oh, uh, they don't imperm this. This turns off them from having imperm. So there's the Ken. Draw two, one, two. Discard one, discard Dragonling. Dragonling then triggers. Add the Judgment Dragon. You could also play Punishment Dragon if you like. Again, this is 60 cards, so there's kind of some uh, room to work with. Uh, activate Charge of the Light Brigade. One, two, three. Um, probably best if we add Dragon Lane on this one. Weiss effects, summon out Dragonling from our graveyard. Dragonling effects, send one to our grave. Uh, sending Wolf. Wolf summons out. Uh, link two. Into Closed Moon. Link Closed Moon into Requiem. Requiem summon out Engraver. Uh, Requiem attached to Engraver. Fuse away these two. Into Necro Princess. Necro Princess is on field. Activate Engraver. I'll put back Whis into the deck to summon. Make it into either Pilgrim Reaper or DDD. DDD is probably the safer bet because even during your opponent's turn, um, it still gives you the negates for your opponents uh, when they attempt to touch something. So, and now from here, let's go into Weiss Effect, stack Felice to the top to summon Mill Felice and Mill another card. We hit Lubellion. Felice is going to summon. Uh, let's do Felice and Dragonling into Minerva. Minerva is going to send two names to the grave. Sending, it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, sending a wolf. And it's the third Dragonling to get that out of our deck. Wolf is going to summon. So, we have one, two, three Light Swords in Graveyard currently. At this point, let's make a rank four into Exceeds Minerva. Use Exceeds Minerva, mill three, draw for each twice one build. 
No Life Horns milled, but we hit the Argus, or Aegis, set the trap guard. And now we have four. We have four Life Horns in the graveyard. So we can summon the Judgment Dragon as just an extender. Make Zombie Vampire this way. Detach. Mill four, summon a dark, uh, or summon a monster among them. Our best option here would pro might be the malicious. It's either Malicious or the M-Seti. Let's come on the M-Seti. Uh, malicious goes to Graveyard. Let's see, is there anything here? We're already using Graver's Effect. So let's banish malicious to summon malicious. Link these away for IP Mascarena. Summon Corridor by putting back Malicious. This hand is not impressive by any means. Um, tribute Corridor to Summon Colossus. But let's look at what it gives us. Because this needs Life Sworn Monsters to negate, so we have one negate because we have Minerva. We can IP this away into an SP. We have two negates off the Caesar, and our opponent can't search. So while we got to this field and end, it may not look like much. It can get us a pretty good um, baseline versus a quite a bit of decks. All right, so I think we're gonna do one more test hand for this video. And if you guys want to see more, feel free to comment, and I can do this again. I think for this one we're gonna pot shuffle. Keep in mind again this is 60 cards. One, two, three, four, five. Bad grass looked green. We finally hit that. So here's where we reach a certain impasse, uh, a certain point here. We could immediately activate that looks greener and check for Ash Shifter. Check for Ash and Shifter that way. If they don't have either of those hand traps and we can mill, odds are we're going to mill 20 cards. Uh, assuming I go first. If I go second, they're probably a little more than that. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So let's have a look and see what we milled and what we have to trigger. Uh police doesn't trigger because it wasn't a monster effect. Okay. 
so we have two effects that can go off, but we have a loaded graveyard. Uh, chain link, two dragon link, chain link, one waste target dragon link. It can be the same dragon link or it can be another dragon link in the graveyard. It doesn't particularly matter which one. So we're going to add the judgment dragon that we have in our deck still. And then we're going to summon out dragon link. Dragon link is going to effect is going to trigger to send Felice. Felice is going to then summon. Now, because we lost the three engravers at this point, but we did mill uh, both Keldo and Madura. So we can actually Madura, shuffle back two engravers, and let's shuffle back a cor the corridor. And the reason that is, is so we can have a little more options when we go to do our effects. Um... We can also, at this point, go Star Leech Safer into Lubellion to add that back. Uh, at this point, though, let's go... <laughs> we can Normal Summon Ken. Ken Effect Give Again. Again makes me discard a card. So we're going to discard Sarly Safer, which then turns our triple tactics live, because our opponent's monster actually in effect. Um, off this, we can draw two cards or look at our opponent's hand. I think at this point I want to draw two, an M Seti and a Chaos Strip. Love you near. Okay. So let's, in that case, do we can't do anything that way. Let's activate Charge of the Light Brigade. One, two, three. Add Dragon Link, even though we don't need it right now. Link 2. Again, I'm going to go the safest route as possible. Make Moon. Moon into... Requiem. Requiem Summon and Engraver. If I was going second, I wouldn't make the DDD. I would make the uh, Pilgrim Reaper, uh, Requiem Equip, make Necro Princess. Using Graver Effect to summon, shuffle back the Awis. into the DDD at this point. Let's have a look and see what else we have in the graveyard. Uh, we have a light, we have lights for days. So I think the, I think what we should do is activate Starlight Safer. Grab back our Lubellion. Activate Lubellion. Search for a Bestial. I think we have a Magna Hut Silver deck. Uh, summon out Levionaire by banishing a Light. A Light. And another light. Banishing three lights. Levinier is going to summon back a monster. I think we should summon back Closed Heaven. 
I'm sorry, I can't summon that close to heaven. I need to summon back a monster that can be summoned defense. So let's summon back the engraver. Uh, we can link to into sequence. Use sequence effect of fusion. One, two, three. Into Desiree. Sequence equipped to Desiree. So now it has two negates. The uh, DD has two negates. At this point, we can activate Emsetti. Yep. Activate Emsetti, pitch Dragonling to grab King Sarcophagus, and then draw a card. Draw a wolf, which doesn't particularly matter in this case. Uh, activate the Msetti, or not the Msetti, the King Sarcophagus. Summon Msetti, summon Happy, go into a an eight. Actually, we don't summon these out quite yet. Instead, I think we're going to use the Magna Hut. Banish. A Dragonling, doesn't particularly matter. Uh, tribute, to summon out Lubellion. Use Lubellion effect to place Branded or Gained. So now when we banish a card, we have a free get back. Uh, overlay these two into the Zombie Vampire. Activate effect, no four. Hit nothing there, but we can still summon out the Weiss if we so choose to. So, how do we get another level four? I don't believe we can. However, instead we can do... Malicious effect, summon malicious, trigger regained, put this malicious back into the deck, or into the bottom of the deck, I mean, to draw a card. We do tract. Uh, you can take these two, make Chaos Angel. I believe we have four lights one to be heard. We one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We only have three. Huh. Interesting. So, King Sargophis, if we have another. Yep, we have another name. So now we have four lights one to be heard. We can summon out the Judgment Dragon. Judgment Dragon is going to particularly do anything other than link away into IP malicious effect we were unable to put two level orders on field so we can't go into the corridor so at this point when we go to end phase we search out another bestial oh, I'll grab your sperm so, we have one, two negates for summons uh, to make SP of our big ass monster. Two negates off the uh, Desiree, and also Durasorm, we have an interruption that can net us a card. Sadly, I couldn't make the full field, which does include a Colossus, but this is in, this is in just what it ends up being. I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.